What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking a Nike Dunk High Particle Gray. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. We're talking to Nike Dunk High particle gray all right man we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today we're gonna be answering the basic old question are they drip or skip let's just keep it there all right so first things first these are set to release august 30th to the best of my knowledge coming in at a retail price of 135 dollars right okay now of course you know the kid glance at the resale price and look like they're averaging the same as retail at 135 dollars and up depending on the size right okay now i think the official name for this is certified fresh particle gray like that's what they're calling them um if you look that up everywhere that's where they're kind of falling under that name and scheme right now the biggest thing that's sticks out about this sneaker obviously nike i think they're just on a gray wave right now because i feel like this is like what the third or fourth video that i made where she was just basically all over gray or has majority gray colorway right and i'm usually a sucker for gray now one of the biggest things that sticks out about these dunks is that they are coming with the pink laces already in the shoe usually the pink laces are like an additional lace you know pair of laces that come with it now i think other than that they're coming with the extra set of laces which are gray which i guess we can say particle gray right okay but the pink really make these shoes pop so that's one of the reasons why i wanted to make sure that i did this video now nike dunk high right it's kind of one of those you either love them or you hate them now i'm hearing these are supposed to be premium quality on these right okay quality is supposed to be a1 steak sauce and it's just a different type of like material on the shoe all together right okay now personally i would have loved to see these in a low y'all know me for some strange reason when it comes to my dunks i just like to see them in a low overall i will say these pink laces i don't know why but they just do something for me. They make me, obviously, they're an eye catcher. That's obviously, that's, let's just keep it there. They're definitely an eye catcher for this shoe. Um, Now, will these sell out? Maybe so. On the resale market, obviously, I think they're going to go, obviously, probably be low retail once these actually drop, which really shouldn't matter if you like the shoe or not. Now, I will say this. For a dunk, it's a nice shoe, right? Okay, but I'm just gonna keep the same energy that I've been having all week so far about the sneakers that have been just dropping in general, man. I just feel like there's, I hate to say it, and I'm gonna piggyback off my live that I did on Saturday. Right now, like the only, and it shouldn't matter, but the only shoes that we're really checking for with the exception of a few is like either the Travis's or some Jordan 1. Like, it's just different right now. I don't know. I feel like, is it just me? And y'all comment down below. I feel like the sneaker just drops have just been mediocre if you will just been average and nothing really too crazy to write home about but it's still worth definitely talking about but back to these particle grade dunks not a bad shoe but overall they're going to be a skip for the kid um not really excited about them like i said it's one of those if they were gifted to me i would rock them but i know me if i had them in the collection it would be something I would just be forced my forcing myself to wear, right? Okay. Again, not to take shots at the people that actually like this shoe because again, it's not a bad shoe. However, it's just not really on my radar. But I will say, nice try by Jordan Brand. It's supposed to be that premium quality. But again, these are going to be a skip for the kid. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. And will you be going after these on August 30th? Retail another $135. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.